to. Trump is gone. I don't think y'all can see me like y'all should be able to see. But we can hear it ourselves. I got mouses and everything everywhere, people. Good afternoon. see me. Hey, Sonya. Drama T. Page, how you doing? Jazzy for sure in the building. What's up, y'all? What's up? How y'all doing today, today, today? Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Manuka love. Wintress in the building. The Lady Moore. Hey, Miss B. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Deb. What's up, Tootie Marie? Miss Phyllis in the building. How are you, love? Oops. I turned off my computer monitor. Y'all, I have cheesesteak on the menu for today. Yes, I do once I get all my stuff out the way. So, y'all, of course, your girl had to postpone the live for a historical moment. I heard that, Demetrius. Hey. All I can say is what I know from what I met, if that makes sense. You know, first impression means everything. And I said, friend. Everything else, I will leave up to them to say. Okay, let me get my anthem on y'all, period. <laughs> Did anybody watch the inauguration? I watched the inauguration, y'all, and it was awesome. Short, straight to the point, which are most inaugurations are. Oh, I got a homemade cheesesteak, y'all, and french fries. So hopefully y'all got some food too, because it is lunchtime. Although we don't always eat on schedule. That's just what it is. Let's see here. I'm trying not to play music because I get monetized. I don't need the drama. I don't need the YouTube drama, y'all. Not the demonetization. Honestly. Let's see. Hey Carolyn. Thank you. What's up, Lady LV? Italian Simone, hey. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm finna give y'all this little pool. It should be cheesy. Y'all put a whole lot of cheese on it, y'all. So there you go. Why it's still hot? Because it is super hot. Glory, thank you for this meal in Jesus' name. Amen. Can't forget grace. Mm. I got water and I got coffee. What y'all having for lunch? It's a mukbang channel. We gotta eat. Like we got to eat. Some way, shape, or form. We gotta eat. Mm-hmm. We don't get into this, y'all. To this gossip. Hey, Trina girl. What's up, sister? Hey, Eric. Hey, Carleen. You're welcome, Ramada. <laughs> Trump is gone. Period. Period. 
Listen to this, y'all. I don't care if I demonetize. Period. I, I just demonetize. More content coming. So, I mean, I care. Fuck. Mm, that's a celebration, y'all. It's worth it. Everything ain't always about moolah, baby. It's a celebration. Okay. gonna be my anthem yes yes that's gonna be my anthem. all right enough of that anyways what's up you guys happy wednesday i pray everybody's having a blessed and wonderful wednesday my wednesday obviously as you can see is a jubilee i'm excited i'm sorry y'all i mean i hope y'all is too you should be especially your color folks we <laughs> color folk. But we just gonna have a quick live mukbang. Live video. I'm just chit chatting and talking about a couple things. And I know you guys have already seen Walt's new lady friend. I had the pleasure to meet her. Um like I said, first impression means everything, but I think so far she is a nice lady. They confirm they're dating. I don't think so. That's not for me to say, but she is a friend of what? She seems pretty nice. And I told what? I told my bro. I just want him to be happy. Whoever he decides to talk to or whatever, I just want him to be safe, happy, and treated well. But of course, it needs to go both ways. Not just on his end. Her. Not just on her and his end too. So, I've been watching their little videos and stuff. I think it's super cute. They're taking money on my account, y'all. Amazon. Hmm. What you say? Thank the Lord, Alfred. <laughs> what Alfred say? Yes, that is a headline story, y'all. He is out of the White House, y'all. And how um, degraded did he leave? Mm -mm. Oh, well, he gone. However he left, he gone. But we're going to get into him. We're going to get into um, Trump. But Nisha, she seems like a sweet girl. She really does. From my understanding, she's a god fearing woman. From when I met her. She loves the Lord. Which helps give us the discipline that we need. Because we all could be a little hot mess. So, that's a good thing. Hey, Gerlinda. Well, Selena, that is your opinion. All we can do is sit back and watch. All I can say, I'm a Love Jones. If, Love Jones. I'm a Love Jones, obviously. My channel is Love Jones. What is the Puff Puff Game? And I'm a Puff Puff Game member from before, way before he joined. And I'm pretty sure all y'all can testify y'all are too. Years, um, years ago, even years before he even started his channel, when D-Love was telling him to start one, he didn't want to. So, one thing I can't say about Puff Puff Game members. I'm a YouTuber now, so I still pop up game, no smoke, but not as hard as y'all do, <laughs> and y'all come for them, if, if it's not right, you know, y'all give it time, you do embrace people at first, but you kind of go in, so, with any relationship, whether it's friendship, um, love, whatever it is, you got to give it time. The relationship I'm in now, I brought, I brought him before you guys. I brought my boyfriend before the Love Jones family. Y'all questioned him. I had y'all give me questions, all that stuff. So, although it's not for other people to justify your relationship, I feel like outside of social media, family, whatever the case may be, you need to know your partner for yourself. I know my head is kind of cut off, y'all. Because I wanted y'all to see the food. Hold on. I wore my pearls, y'all. 
pearls for the girls for Kamala, period. And I took my pictures and put them on my Facebook. So here's my pearls for the girls. But anyways, yeah, I think any relationship takes time. Friendship, family. It takes time to get to know um, each other. And a lot of times we kind of... I need a highlight. We kind of expect things out of people that we don't expect out of ourselves. It goes both ways. And I think just give them time, you know. Give people time to get to know each other and kind of feel each other out, but also be be mindful, watchful. True friends tell you the truth. And even if you feel like, okay, they're going to take what I got to say and stop talking to me, that's true friendship. That's, that's how you sacrifice whatever you have to make sure your friend is okay. At least you put something in your friend's ear. But... From my um, first impression of Nisha, she was a sweet girl. Um, I don't know likes her. She knows more. He do too. But I just want Buddy to be happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. And I had watched, um, you might have said I've been watching what? From the time he started, I support him. He deserves a happy life. He surely does. He has a heart. A lot of people be like, you keep putting them in your comment. Okay, Walt wants my channel to grow. He wants me to do whatever it takes to make my channel grow, even if that is due to his name. So that's important too. And that's a good person, period. Everybody not the same, you know. And these days we have to learn how to help each other out. Period. Yeah, most times friends don't want to hear it. But if you can't be honest with your friends, then who do you tell? If you can't be honest with your friends, I'm going to be honest with my friends. I know what you mean, though. If, who else do you tell it to if you can't be honest with your friends? I personally, I don't have a lot of friends. But the friends I have, I have my Love Jones family. I have you guys, of course. I talk to y'all. But I also have um, brothers and sisters in Christ. Some of my siblings. Y'all see some of my videos. <laughs> I can't tell them everything, but there's a reason for everyone in my life. But when I have friends, I tell them the truth. And a lot of times, and I have friends who tell me the truth. A lot of times we don't want to hear what our friends got to say, especially if we like what's going on or it's just, it's, we're comfortable with it. But sometimes we tend to learn things for ourselves. Most times they don't want to hear it. Who's controlling Crystal? Thank you, Monika. I got this from Houston. My boyfriend surprised me when we went on a trip with this shawl. It's, it's pretty. Thank you. If they don't like it, then we really have a problem. But I want you to tell me the truth. Two more Monica. <laughs> exactly. I want you to tell me the truth, and the truth shall set us free. Although sometimes we don't want to hear it, it shall set us free. There's some things I have been told that I just don't want to hear it. But at the end of the day, I need to listen, especially if it comes from someone. A lot of times people tell you stuff, and I guess it's how they tell you. But sometimes when, they tell, when some people tell you stuff, they kind of look down on you. They kind of look at you like, I'm better than you. You know, and some people just tell it out the kindness of their heart. They want to see you happy. They want to see you prosper. They want to see great things happen in your life. They're not saying it with a motive or bad intentions. And I feel like when people are genuine like that, you need to listen. I had a talk with Walt, uh, who is literally like a brother to me. Me and Walt, it was from day one, like family connection, because we talked about real stuff, like growing up in the hood, growing up. And poverty, growing up, just being um, natural people, you know, and, and that's the kind of people, people who you can relate to is who you kind of like adapt to, adjust to, and people that you trust. I, I personally can't trust everybody. I try not to put everybody in my circle, you know, sometimes you hit your head and you learn, but was a smart man. He's a very, very smart man. He sit back, he, he observed, and... He, 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 um, he's a man. 
<laughs> at the end of the day, he's a man. And he is not perfect himself. But you can tell, you can see his good outweigh his bad. That's for sure. Thanks, new coupon lady. We gotta check your channel off. You're a coupon lady. <laughs> I want him to slow down and hope he is moving fast. Not, it's not moving fast. I do agree with that. A lot of times when we move fast, it could be, um, it could become a situation. So I just hope you just enjoy yourself. But again, he's grown. So whichever angle, whichever way he goes. Is up to him. Hey, Leticia. Your brother. <laughs> I feel like he, my brother, yes. Of course. But he can also, y'all know, walk him. He can take up for himself, too. He just don't like drama. He's not a drama person. I'm not either. Like, there's a difference between good drama and bad drama. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense. But I mean, like, talking for motivation purposes versus talking down on somebody, you know, trying to uplift somebody and get a message across versus um, knocking somebody or just feeling like you're better than somebody because of where you come from and where you are. I learned from my mom, oh, welcome to the family. Well, you're already in the family. <laughs> Ebony. Ebony joined my channel. You're officially going to be a part of the giveaway that I have coming this Friday. I'm giving away some money this Friday, y'all. So it's not too late to join my membership. Thank you, Ebony, who is definitely a day one. What's up, girl? But my mom was a nurse, you guys. So we were pretty well off, you know. But there was very humble times growing up where we didn't have what we had after she graduated college. I mean, we had days when we were really, really hungry. She was trying to, her and my dad separated, trying to provide for all of us, but she taught us how to be humble and how to share. Not just with each other, which was number one, but she taught us how to share with everybody, with the community, with kids who, we had learned early that, okay, she's gonna be a nurse, but before she was a nurse, she taught us how to be humble, to share what we have and never look down at someone because we can just, the quickest guy elevates you, he can lower you. He can bring your butt right back on down to square one. So a lot of times we, we decide that, oh, I done made it here. So now let me tell you, not let me show you how to get where I am, but let me tell you how I did this. No, you're going to be pulled right back down. Trust and believe. Yo, um, be humble. Be humble. But when she became a nurse and we had ton of we, we were blessed i would say that my mom had good money we were truly blessed um she shared with everybody she never looked down on nobody she still was one of the top beauticians in the city she did hair for free cousins aunts neighbors she helped she took people's kids places but that's the kind of spirit wall has his giving but he had to also learn that you don't just there's there's a circle just stick within your circle because some people, they'll meet you and they'll take whatever they learned from you or um, just the presence of you and run with it. And they'll turn it against you. So he had to learn that for himself. I did too. I had to learn that for myself. Some people I meet, whether they're YouTubers or not, it's not always meant to be in your circle, you know. Thanks, Ali. So you were day one for sure. Sweetie, they say if you have a good connection with a person, you might have met them in your past life. I don't know about the past life. I don't believe in reincarnation, but you may have met them in your life, period. Young or old, I feel. I agree with you, Weedy. You have come across them before. It's like a reconnection. Hey, Yolanda. Welcome to the family, beautiful. Down South Chick, I like walk humbleness, but also love the fact that be love not only, um, not about to fall for everyone. 
who say they love war because at the end of the day, she know they trying to get close to her, but she having it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree. Absolutely. And when he had me meet be love, I was like, okay, it's our, our brother, our relationship, our friendship is official. Because he, I was like the first person walk call. Like, I will tell y'all that. I don't think I did a video on it. I'll say it now. We live. I was like one of the first people he contacted, you know, to come see be love. And I'm like, oh my God. It was first thing in the morning. When he was in town, he was like, be here. You know, they don't really tell people how they move. And I'm learning. I've learned that too. Don't always tell people how you move. Like, where you going and stuff. Especially with her status. And so, she just came. I didn't even know she was here. And she loved... They, they have such a close connection as brothers and sisters. So, whatever while... Even though while... A little bit wilder than me. But he not wild, if that makes sense. Like, he he's more open when it comes to... Because... I don't want to say he can be. She can't. She can't be open to everybody. He can't either, but, you know, Walt, you know how Walt is. Walt is just Walt. And so, whoever she want, he want her to meet. He want to meet, but I'm pretty sure he already told her about me. She watches our videos, me and Walt. But, um, that tells a, that says a lot. But, B-Love is not going to just meet anybody either. She's smart. They all smart. They learn. She get to 5k sub. She will do a walk. Don't use him. I feel a way about that. Well, stay tuned. You know. When we get things time, we will reveal it so. Energy, you are so beautiful, and I hope that I get along so much just like you. Yep, great advice, Tracy. Be patient and pray, pray and get busy. I'm not looking for nobody. I mean, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, so you're looking, but you're not eager to settle. If that makes sense, hey, Julia girl, what's up, beautiful? Ha what else will say? Well, happy inauguration day. Happy Inauguration Day. But it's always okay to give someone a chance. But just don't be too hasty. I don't know about that part yet. From my first impression, she was a nice young lady. Um, the same thing with his past, you know. And I love who he love. I care about who he care about, but most importantly, I care about him. I want him to be okay. And like I say, he's a grown man. He's a smart man. He know what he's doing. A documentary. And that is that is a big point. I mean, it would be um, oblivious, if that's the right word, or careless for me to mention that he's a YouTuber. So people will come. And I told Walt this, and I mentioned that when he came over and we did our videos <laughs> the other week. And he know. He was just laughing like, girl, you sure told me. I told Walt that. I said, you may never collab with me again, but I do not care. I'm going to tell you like it is because I had seen him doing so many collabs, you know, before me, even with me, you know. But everybody, everybody don't have that genuine spirit. You got to be careful, especially in these days. People collab. People do all kind of stuff just to get to the top. They will... Um, Take their soul, set it down, and run for a couple of dollars and for a little fame. Sometimes it's not even money. They just want to be noticed. They just want to have some kind of um, position in life. <laughs> Whether it's off of you or off they self. But, um, yeah, you got to be careful. I don't trust everybody. I'd rather build myself from the bottom up. Than to sacrifice my soul and sacrifice myself just for a little bit of fame. It's not even about the fame for me. It's about ministering, getting God's word out, and do what's right. Just do what's right by people. And good gonna come to you every way. Any way it goes, good gonna come to you. Hey, 
Sheila. You need to get someone not on YouTube. I agree. I do date someone on. I'm not going to say who he needs to date, but to me, as a you, I will speak for myself as a YouTuber. It's better to get someone who is not on YouTube. Now, if y'all been dating, you on YouTube for a little while, and they get on YouTube, that's fine. Some people you date and they start a YouTube channel, it could be the same thing. But I feel like if that's not them, <laughs> you want somebody. My boyfriend has a great job, a nine to five job. He's at his office right now, and that's cool. Like he helped me, he support me, he see what I like to do. You know, but he does not overstep. And if he ever tried, or if he did try, <laughs> you know, he, he's I've I've trained him in the direct in the um kind of setup. He helps me a whole lot when it comes to setting up all that stuff. He adds to it, but it's not his calling or gift of being on YouTube. We see him grow from being nervous as ever to just being like solid solid on YouTube so I agree it's hard to date someone who does what you do especially a YouTuber because everybody got to balance everybody and it's like no it's just definitely too much yeah or get someone who I agree I agree with down south chick someone who has the same amount of followers that way Y'all benefit each other. You know, they not taking from you every time you breathe or... I agree with that. I mean, if y'all have an understanding and that's just how it is, you big, they small, or you just... They helping you, that's different, you know? If y'all have a relationship for that. Beyond just jumping right on YouTube. That's different when you jump right on YouTube. No. Yeah, Deb, they will use you. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Well, I had, well, for Crystal, I had like 20 subscribers when I met Walt, but I wasn't dating Walt. I try so hard to be noticed. I would want to stay under the radar. I agree. That's true. To each his own. Yeah, Chris, my boyfriend supports me like crazy. If y'all notice, he's not always on my videos. Because for me, it's like, if my channel is called Ms. Katrina G, and it's not that he don't want to or I don't want him to, you have to understand, like, you need to separate your relationship from YouTube unless you have a couple's channel or you, you have a family channel like that's different or you just come like me and Chris to do a challenge here and there but you don't need to base your relationship off your your channel off your relationship like no there's <laughs> there's a time for everything I would like to keep my relationship so the best way to keep my relationship is to keep it off YouTube like, if I do content, we have content, pranks, stuff like that. But it's not an everyday, especially not no personal stuff. You ain't going to get that. The most personal y'all going to get from me is a proposal, a, a baby announcement, if that ever happened. As of right now, your girl ain't rushing. A baby announcement, and I ain't getting no younger. <laughs> uh, a wedding. That's as far as it gets for me when it comes to, um, and dating, like, just how to date, how to, like, I had a dating show. For those who, who have seen my uh, dating show, comment me in the chat if you saw the dating show. I had a dating show, and that's where I met Chris. And we had met way before my dating show, but I didn't want to just, like, we didn't really, like, date or anything. I just didn't want to like spring somebody on my channel without the people who support me daily. Because then I was doing, I think, daily vlogs who supported me daily. Not to meet him, not to question him. Because y'all care about your girl. Y'all, 
love me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all showed that support. So y'all know. Y'all getting to know me. I mean, it's online, but still. Your videos show your character. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't dark always come to light anyways? Rebecca, you're a small YouTuber. Keep grinding. You're going to be a big YouTuber. Trust that. You're going to be a big YouTuber. I'm a small YouTuber too. But the more I grind, the bigger I get. And you have to step outside the box. Do some stuff that people say you shouldn't do. I know y'all like, what? She's being disobedient. Yep, I said it. Do some stuff that people tell you you should not do. Especially if they're not YouTubers. Now, if they're YouTubers and they tell you not to do it, kind of listen. But if there are people who are not on YouTube, they do not know how hard you work. They do not know how hard it is to set up. They do not know how hard it is to come up with content. Do the opposite of what they tell you to do. And I guarantee you, you're going to grow like crazy. Step outside the box. And even if you have to go ahead and rebrand yourself, I made three new channels, which I'm going to upload for one of them at least today. And I got like, shoot, I put out on my reaction channel, maybe four videos, three or four videos so far. And I already got almost 150 subscribers. So just kind of like step outside the box in some areas and feed off of each other. They always talk about cloud chasing. Like, there is cloud chasing on YouTube. Granted, there's people who actually will sit down they soul, like I said, and come and chase you for cloud. Do anything to get it. And then there's people who actually want to grow their channel and they put in their own hard work, their personality. They're made for YouTube that deserve that cloud. They deserve the cloud. Some people don't deserve the cloud. But there's people who are genuine who actually, you know, like how Walt took me in. He takes really good care of me. So, yeah, I don't see him doing that for everybody he meets. Well, I'll take care of me in ways y'all don't even know. So, that he wouldn't do for nobody else. Tifa allowed it. That's just period. You know, I don't bring this to work every day. <laughs> Actually, he bring me to work every day, y'all. Oh, wait, his job I be watching. Let me not say. He be all on the phone. But he can talk on his phone, so. Call it on Messenger all day. And I'll be like, babe, I'm finna record. But it's a beautiful thing to have that kind of relationship. Missy, I am 33. I will be 34 July 5th. That is my birthday. I'm a cancer, sweet, sweet, but crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he did training. He had to answer. I got to catch up with my comments. He had to answer a lot of questions y'all had for him. It was funny. And he was like kind of nervous. Well, he was nervous. He'd never been on camera like that. Like he's been on there, but not, you know, before the world on YouTube. So it was quite interesting. Put him in a hot spot. You want to get to know somebody? Put him in front of the world. Then he had to meet my, my pastor, who is like my father. So my father passed on and asked my pastor to take care of me. So he had to meet the whole family. It was real, real fast. And it wasn't, it, it still ain't easy. <laughs> That's right, Tracy. He's a grown man. I agree with that. Nope. That goes for everybody. Tracy Conrad. Everybody has a choice to make. It's up to you. Especially when you're grown. You're grown, you're grown. I ain't talking about 18 to um, the whole 25. I'm grown and don't have a pot to piss in. I mean, like, you're grown. And it's up to you. And if it work, it work. And if it don't, it don't. You move on. Unfortunately, some situations can leave you less than if that makes sense like some relationships including me it could happen to any of us it could leave you less than which means you can some people will lose their self when they when they leave relationships especially marriages like it's like a death so 
But it is your business at the end of the day. Tracy, you so knows. <laughs> it was Chris. Tracy, it was Chris. That ice cream date was Chris. Y'all didn't meet him yet, though. <laughs> I was sizing them up that day. Like, let me see if he gonna fit in front of my U my YouTube family, cause we can't just bring anybody, no jokers up to the family. They wanna read me. Oh, I'm gonna take notes. Thank you, me. You welcome, Rebecca. It was him, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all so nosy. <laughs> Definitely you. Thanks, Becca. Hey, Kathleen. Blake could do a video. She starts to curse when her true colors are shown. Oh, Lord, I didn't see that. Okay. If it prances, the lady meal. I didn't know about the drinking thing. Oh, Drinking will bring it out of you. I be okay, so I don't drink to get drunk. I mean, I drink. I'm a Christian, but I drink. You know, people be like, "Are you a Christian?" What you mean? I'm human. You don't see me getting drunk, begging for change, or or bear or bread, or just acting the fool, throwing chairs and stuff. No, I can have a good time. You can be a Christian and have a good time, but the the question is, are you getting drunk? To, are you drinking to get drunk? Are you drinking it out of control? You see me, I be on guard. Like, mm -mm, we ain't gonna say that. This is stuff you don't do. But, um, I don't know about that. Thanks, little sister. Pray for their relationship, whatever it is. Friendship, it may just be a friendship. We don't know that. But I did meet her, and I wanted to express that. My first impression of her, she was a nice person. Hey, Ali. My reaction channel is, I'm going to pin it. I had my phone set the other day, so. I don't got my radio because I don't have to. Okay, well, said he wasn't dating her. Okay, so she must be a cool, close friend. I didn't know that. Tracy said, I knew it was Chris. <laughs> What's up, Blue Moon in the building? How you doing, Blue Moon? Yes, y'all, I'm almost at 5K. We got to get your girl to 5K. I know some of you guys are watching, and you're not subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. I mean, what does it hurt? You know, it's absolutely free to subscribe. So there it is. Lady LV has confirmed. Hey, Mona girl. I miss you, Mona. Thank you, Kathleen. Yes, girl. Y'all are nosy and so am I, so don't feel bad. <laughs> you know I'm nosy. I be all in the Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. a chair. What that mean? You done threw a chair at somebody, sis? Hey, Linda. How are you? Miss you. You trying to hear me sing? Oh, Lord. Hey, Bree. We were just, you probably need to go back in the chat, Bree. Look it up. But we, we were literally just talking about it. You at work. I figure you was at work, Mona, because I know you said during the day now. Block who? Rod. Okay, I done missed something. Let's see, yo. You got to be nice on this side of YouTube.
Oh, you going back and forth with a moderator, girl? We might block you. Remember to play with a moderator. Yes, she is very positive, Tracy. Like we, we don't do that on this side of YouTube. We just have an open discussion. Anybody is free to discuss what they want to dis discuss. Hey, D. White. Hey, Cora. <laughs> Thanks, Blue Moon. Okay, I guess. He said I'm big time now, huh? Um. Hey, Laverne. <laughs> he said, I won't be the only good vibes here. <laughs> oh, no. We are nice and friendly on this side of YouTube. No, Sarah. Me and Water are not together. That's my brother. That is my brother, period. Tracy obviously said she was interested in hearing wives. It's so bad for her to want to know if they're dating. It's a yes or no. Not like she's asking anything extra personal. People are way too sensitive. Yeah, nah. Honestly, I don't know. I just knew I met her as a lady friend. He said my friend. When he said my friend, I was like, okay, cool. If it's a female, I want to meet her. <laughs> but first impression, she was a nice young lady. Welcome everyone to the live. Yes, do not forget to like this live. We're going to end this live on the note. Hey, Shell, you coming at the end, Shell. How are you? Happy Blessed Wednesday and Inauguration Day. Hey, Pearl Otis. How you doing? Yeah, I know. Oh, my care. I don't watch that much. I kind of like, especially with all YouTube, I watch to like maybe 10 minutes and then I go on because I'm a YouTuber. A lot of times, I put in a lot of time watching YouTubers though. My boyfriend can tell y'all, but sometimes I can't, I did, I can't go off of when I met, met her, so all you can do is just stay tuned, see how things go, and pray, pray for one another. Hey, Laverne J. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta calm it down, y'all. When people ask questions, answer yes or no. Don't be rude to each other, especially on this side of YouTube. We don't do all that. And especially not Tracy. Tracy's a sweetheart. Mm, Tracy, Tracy. Tracy Ann is a sweetheart. We all grown. Thanks, Trina. I wasn't even being extra nosy. I thought, girl, we all being nosy. Okay, you ain't being extra nosy, but we all being nosy, and it's a good nosy. It's nothing wrong with what we, we talking about. We ain't saying nothing negative about nobody. We're not disrespecting anyone. We just wanted to know what, well, I ain't going to say we wanted to know. I don't want to know, but we're just discussing it. Don't shoot no shots, y'all. Uh -uh. I didn't do it. Hey, Shay on demand. Hey, Grandma Faye. But anyways, off of that topic, we talked a lot about it. If you have not seen what we discussed, go back and replay this live. But I think I added to my title, he is gone. He is gone. Trump is gone. A lot of people, hey, Rena. <laughs> she said, I want to know. You got to scroll in the chat, girl. We had some good discussion. Scroll in the chat. But 
Everybody is not about politics. That is perfectly fine. I am all about, um, not necessarily politics, but all about spreading positivity, including who you vote for. It's up to you to vote correctly. But at the end of the day, I know who I voted for. And I'm, I'm just excited about who won and who we just voted in. And Trump is go. So on that note, we're going to end it with my anthem song. I already played it. So I can't, you know, do no more damage that I already did. You know what I'm saying, you guys? So I pray that everyone have a great inauguration. Wednesday. Don't party too much, you guys. Don't party too much. Um, enjoy life to the fullest despite of circumstances. Just be thankful for the jubilee that we have because it's been a hell of a last few years.